Hey everybody, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and country cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila. Hi, Shishi. Hi, this is Shishi. Hi, this is Jen Jen. And we're back today for another recipe. Yes, today we are going to do one pan. One pan only. One pan. Three cheese stuffed chicken parmesan, and it is absolutely delicious, and you're going to love this. I'm glad you said that instead of me. <laughs> would have been a long opening. <laughs> <laughs> Very long opening. I so, have to say, what? I know. <laughs> I go, what, what was that called again? <laughs> so, how long is this in the oven? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> About that long. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got everything laid out here, and this is a one pan, so I've got a cast iron skillet. Now, you could use a separate skillet and then transfer it into a dish that you could bake it with, but I'm going to make it very simple today, and this is the way that I like to do it. So, um, I've already got my chicken breast, um, and I've already got them uh, sliced and clean and ready to go. And I've got all of my flour and my egg wash and my seasoned breadcrumbs ready to go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to heat this pan up a little bit and have Sheila add a little bit of oil, some cooking oil, to the bottom of the pan. Oil. And what we want to do is make sure that pan gets nice and hot. I can do this much. <laughs> <laughs> what I've got here is some parchment paper. And you can take your chicken, and I've already, like I said, I've already got it sliced. And you and, don't wash it first. Yeah, you don't want to wash it because you're just going to contaminate your kitchen. So the, the rules have changed with chicken. <laughs> so no need to wash it first. Just go ahead and wash your hands uh, when you are done working with chicken. So I'm going to lay it face down on my parchment paper so it doesn't stick. And then I've got another parchment piece right underneath here ready to go, a wax paper. And you're going to want to hammer this out to make it thin. Now that I can do, I can hammer it. Do you have a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring the hammer? So what you want to do is put the chicken and spread it out in between the parchment paper. And you can either pound it or you can roll it, but you just want to make sure that it's nice and thin and get that chicken nice and thinned out. You don't, and don't time. knock off your bowl while you're doing it. <laughs> get more chicken for your money. That's right. So when you're done with that chicken, once you got that flattened out, you want to get your hands dirty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go, Shishi. You All feel right. it out there? You just put it on both sides, make sure it covers both sides. Bang on it. Yep. Flip it over. Make sure we got the, you want to have the flour on both sides. Then you're going to want to dump it in the egg wash. You get both sides covered with egg. Careful, that's so splashy. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> there you go. And yeah, then you careful. put it in your Italian breadcrumb seasoning. Here we go. And down below in the comments, I'll put everything that I add into my bread seasoning so you can see. Make sure you get both sides fully covered. I have to use one hand. This thing is there you go. popping. Okay. And then you just plop that right inside the pan okay. and brown it up a little bit. And then we'll stuff it and then we'll flip it over. So that's what it looks like when we first put it in the pan. And you just want to let that fry up for about two minutes. And then you're going to flip it over. So now that it's browned up on that side, we're going to take some of the ricotta cheese and we're going to put that on one side of that chicken. Okay. Nothing like ricotta cheese. And then we're going to add Parmesan and mozzarella mix. All right. And then we're going to flip the one side back over the top of that. And it might fall apart on you a little bit, but it's nice and stuffed. There you go. Like chicken tacos. And we will keep adding chicken until this pan is full. So the biggest trick with this is to make sure that you get the, this brown and crispy um, and cooked a little bit on both sides before you add the marinara sauce because uh, that, that way it doesn't get too soggy and that will help uh, keep all the flavors and stuff inside the chicken. Um, and just, it's, it's going to be great. You're going to love it. Sounds good to me. It's okay. very good. So, I like Rayo's uh, marinara sauce. Uh, you could use whatever brand you like. Um, but 
I'm just going to pour some of this right on top in this pan while it's cooking. And actually, you can turn that down now. Okay. Because this is going to go in the oven. And one jar should do a pan this size. You shouldn't need any more than that unless you just really like sauce and you want extra sauce. Then you can go ahead and get some extra sauce. Um, I like extra sauce. <laughs> do you like extra sauce? <laughs> so she oh will God. have you top that off with some more cheese. Of course, we like okay. cheese. So we've got cheese on the inside. We've got ricotta and mozzarella. And we've got oh, uh, good. Parmesan inside there. And you're just going to sprinkle that all along the top. And then what we're going to do, now that the, this is off, we're going to take this and put this in the oven, and we're going to cook it on 425 for about 20 minutes or until the chicken is done, depending on your oven. So, Did you turn the oven on? No. Did you? No. <laughs> so we just got this out of the oven. Doesn't that look good? It was really good. So we had it on about 425 for about 20 minutes, and we needed to drop the temperature just a little bit because the cheese started to brown, so we brought it down to about 375 uh, for another five minutes. So... Um, now if you don't want the cheese brown, you could wait and hold off and add the cheese about 10 minutes before it's ready to come out of the oven and then it would just be white melted cheese. But I like it kind of brown mm -hmm. and crispy myself, so um, I think we should just try it out. dig in and try some of this. You might want to split this one, Shishi. Okay. This, this is a big chicken. <laughs> Doesn't look good though. And I'll just scoop it onto this plate here. You can also add some basil um, for color. Um, you could use uh, fresh basil or just the dried basil. So sprinkle a little bit of that on for some flavor and color. You can also, if you'd like a little bite like I do, my typical Italian, I like my red pepper. So I sprinkle a little bit of red pepper on there. It gives a little bite. I don't know if you like spicy nah. stuff. Nah, nah, she's like, nah. But red pepper is good. So let me get my fork up. Oh, oh. I, ha I didn't haven't used that, so go ahead. And oh, have thanks. It. <laughs> thanks, Sheila. <laughs> I thought yeah. I'd wait on you. So let's try this. Let's see what it tastes like. It's tender. It's very tender. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I like leaving it whole like this and flipping it over. Oh. Um. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is so good. Here we that go. That is delicious. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. That is so good. So. Really good. If you want a one pan, easy to make. It's fairly easy. You get a little messy, but it's in one pan. You don't have to transfer it if you don't want to. If you get yourself a cast iron skillet like this, one pan, three cheese, stuffed chicken parmesan. And if I can remember the ingredients to this, anybody can. <laughs> I know. And Sheila's going to try it out this weekend. Yeah. She's going to bring it down to the fam. So yeah. we hope you enjoy this as much as we do. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The recipe is right down below and some additional information. Uh, measuring and all that and also what I use in my breading uh, mix is also down below so and if this is not the best one pan three cheese stuffed chicken parmesan if it ain't it, it ought to be. be thanks again for watching we'll see you right here next time on cooking with shotgun red bye bye <clears throat> okay here we go here we go here we go we're going all right okay Take 99. Yeah. And here is Jin Jin, or my sidekick. Who am my, I? <laughs> your hey, best, you. your you. bestest friend. <laughs> Jin Jin. You're my bestest friend, I know, Jin Jin. But what? I'm a sidekick. Oh, my gosh. I'm a sidekick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're well, done. Did it get oh, side. Jin Jin. Oh, okay. Oh, that's how we do it. <gasps> ding, ding. Okay. About five minutes longer, so it's about 25 minutes on 4.50. No. 425. 20 minutes, and then we dropped it down to about four set. Jen. Jen! I can't get it out of my mouth! 375. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay! All right. One more time with feeling. It's not ready yet. Not ready yet? Mm -mm. Mm. It's not ready yet. <laughs> it's not ready! Sheila's like, let's I'm put ready this thing. I'm ready to eat I'm it right ready. now. Don't forget to visit ShotgunRed.com. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. 
That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.